Hey, let's check out my Rally Connects trailer build sponsored by Northland Trailer Sales in Sudbury and Pace American Trailers. I can go camping in this, I can haul my bikes to the trail in it, and I can host events in it and parties. Let's check it out. What we did is we decided that we purchased the V-Nose trailer. So we had this extra real estate up in the front that was very convenient for us to build cabinetry, uh, to be able to put a fridge in, so on and so forth. So let's break it all down. Okay, we decided to install this uh, 15 liter sink. Um, it's kind of neat how we did this. This isn't an actually sink, this is a chafing tray. Um, chafing trays are used for heating up food at restaurants. We drilled a hole in the bottom of it. We put a drainage in there. And then we just simply went to home hardware and bought ourselves a tap. So like I said before, if I turn it to hot water, I get the city water from outside. And if I turn it to cold water, we get the water that's stored right under here and the sink. So we got two jugs. We have our blue jug for our fresh water. And then we've got our white jug for our gray water. So we decided instead of letting the gray water pour out into the ground, which some people do, we wanted to store it and properly dispose of it in case we happened to run a lot of soap or if we decided to clean any bike parts in here and there was chemicals. Not a smart idea to be pitching that off into the bush. So the sink is something that I think we really find super convenient. It's really helped us out quite a bit. Um, also underneath the sink, uh, what powers it is we have a 12 volt water pump from an RV and it actually runs off of an Earth X lithium battery. The same batteries that we put in our motorcycles, um, I put in my trailer to operate everything, which is pretty cool too. So yeah, um, very convenient that way. And uh, that Earth X battery is constantly hooked into a lithium battery charger. So again, as soon as the, tra or the trailer sees shore power or van power, it charges the battery as I drive. Pretty convenient. So I always have fresh batteries, it's never a problem. And as a matter of fact, right now, Everything we're working on in here is running off of battery. So in these cupboard doors down here, we've decided to install towel rack. We installed our laptop computer, which runs up through into this monitor right up here. And this just feeds exactly what's seen on the laptop computer. This is just an old computer system window running Windows XP, but running Garmin Basecamp. So when I go out on a ride and I'm making trail, I can bring my GPS in after I've dropped my tracks, load it right on the computer immediately, and then it's there for me to edit when I get back or review my uh, trail work. Uh, or if I pre-rode an event, I could look at the tracks from the pre-ride. Or I get out and I'm like, ah, oh, darn it, I forgot to load my GPS back in the office. I can load it in the trailer right here. We've got medical emergency kit. Also have a small portable toilet in the back. And then inside here also has our power panel. So we've got our 240 power panel that splits into 120 a side. So I can run two separate circuits at all times in the trailer. One circuit runs the lighting and the refrigerator. The other circuit runs half the plugs and a bunch of other powered things inside the trailer. Uh, from Prism Trade Show lighting, our show battery, two of them, one runs our 24 volt and our other one runs our 12 volt and that same show battery allows me to have four different plugs on it and a 5 volt usb power as well all right and then our top cupboards guys okay this is where i house all my my cups and my drinking ware i do have some thermoses in here a few different soups and sauces and stuff like that these convenient doors everything's homemade custom made so the sizing and everything on this is all based on where we thought we would best fit in the trailer um, uh, you know I'm pretty tall and pretty close to the ceiling so I wanted these doors to come up nice and high and out of the way opposed to opening up like that uh, at the bottom of the shelves is some um, that dollar store sticky rubberized um, material that allows you to uh, have things that uh, non-slip Tupperware containers, paper plates, regular plates, cutlery, some spare parts, and um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, believe it or not, that stuff doesn't move barely at all when I bounce around off-road getting into the trail system. It stays in there. I never come in here with a door open or with uh, cups or glasses or anything broken. Over in here, uh, this is pretty empty, but usually quite a bit more stuff. I my pots and my pans, my cutting boards, my heat trays, my knives, my cooking utensils, and uh, some snacks. And usually it's just stuff full of stuff. Um, convenient little 12 volt hookups. 
so I can keep plugging in different 12 volt accessories. So if I wanted to run a few more things in here that run off the 12 volt battery, I can. And then of course, underneath the counter, we've got our power hookup it's down here. So I'm able to run AC through here. I can run AC through these ports in the counter. I come up through here if I want, charge my cell phone. Again, I have USB hookup over by the computer here and all my computer cables. And there's also convenient AC right here on the end of the counter that if I want to plug in a, a battery charger or a battery tender, I can plug it in and then run it to my motorcycle. Super convenient, super awesome, super cool. No event trailer or no camper trailer or party trailer is, is complete without a convenient fridge. So this is a standard 120 volt fridge. It runs when the van's running or when we have shore power, but these refrigerators also work as pretty incredible coolers as well. Once that's down to temperature, it stays there. Always stacked full of Red Bull for our customers. Oh yeah. All right, so if I happen to be cooking in here, I want a snack after a ride. I can get out my little butane stove, it's perfect. I can throw my pot of soup or water or cooking something, fry pan. But the real convenient thing, if it gets super cold out and I wanna keep the doors closed and the heat in, but I don't wanna smell the fumes, right? I've installed a 12 volt KTM rad fan. And it helps suck out all the fumes and it makes it nice in here when you're cooking. Pretty convenient. The trailer made of dirt bike parts. <laughs> Join us again on our next episode, sponsored by Northland Trailer Sales and Pace American Trailers, when we talk about the LED lighting, loading our bikes in the trailer, entertainment, and party hosting. <laughs>